All right, KMR Rotary, welcome back to the channel. We're going to talk a little brap right here. I've got a customer block, and one of the questions that I get quite often about high-end uh, builds, custom studded blocks, uh, motors with exotic porting, is uh, if something happens down the line, eventually all motors need maintenance, um, what is the cost or what is the complication uh, to owning one of these motors? Because obviously if you have to replace a housing, um, if you've got to replace a rotor when it's balanced, um, you're in for more cost than if it was just an OEM non-modified block. Um, and really it's not that bad. So that's what this video is about. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about why this motor came in, uh, how long it had been together, and uh, the fact that it needed replacement rotor housings and lapping, and uh, it will be back on the road again. So, let's get into it. So, full bridge, fully studded uh, performance build. Balanced, probably lightweight rotors. Uh, we were associated with the machine work on this build probably five or six years ago. So that motor's been together, running happily. I guess it was on the dyno. They were trying to push the limits. They lost compression. Um, so even though that motor had been happy and together for a long time, you know, sometimes you get power hungry, something goes awry. I don't know the details. They said, hey, KMR, can you rush us a set of rotor housings, match that studding and machine work, lap the side plates, and get it back to us ASAP? And I said, of course I can, because that's what we do. So they sent in a brand new pair of rotor housings and their side plates. The side plates, we were able to lap them completely flat again. They'd already been lapped once. Um, so this particular motor now has three different build iterations on it um, and probably is a block that is potentially 20 plus years old. Uh, in this past five years, it was pushing 600 to 800 horsepower, pretty extreme numbers. Um, and it did it reliably up until the point of problem. Uh, so they send in the rotor housings. The way we do our machining, we're able to match everything, whether it's from years past or current. So we machined up the rotor housings. Right now, the price is 250 bucks per rotor housing if you need just a rotor housing matched up and you already owned a studded block. So about 500 bucks in machine work. He already owns the studs. He already owns all the internals, probably getting some new gaskets and seals, but that's not on me. Um, and then the lapping itself, $130 per side plate surface. Um, so I think that comes out to 520 bucks. So in a matter of a few days, we were able to knock out the machine work, knock out the lapping. This is going to go back to the customer. He's going to throw it back together. So for only a few thousand dollars, he's putting this multi-thousand dollar block back together in almost like new shape, ready for high boost. I don't know. He's probably running 30 plus PSI. Um, but it doesn't matter. It's all cleaned up, ready to brap again. So the point is, if you invest in a high-end block and you protect it with a good ECU, good fuel delivery, good tuning, apex seals that don't shatter, you should have years of successful operation. And the majority of the time I see these types of motors come back, it's because people get bored and are searching for even more power, just like this. But it's not that big of a deal. A couple rotor housings, a little machine work and lapping, and for a fraction of the cost of the initial build, this motor will be back together, hopefully for years again. So invest in your motors on the front end, those initial builds. Even if you have a problem, it's going to save you money down the line to have a strong block, have something that's rigid, that's going to not fatigue, because you're going to be able to rebuild it over and over again if necessary. All right, I think that's a wrap. I'm going to wrap this up. I got things to do. Got to get back to the lapping table. Got a little more stud work to do. Appreciate everybody for watching. And if anybody's got questions about the machine work, uh, rotary work, or any of the parts or things we do, yeah, send us an email, drop us a DM. I'm out of here.